Hey guys, how's it going? Tess back again with episode number 6 of the Chelsea career mode on Xbox One. So uh, we're starting this one with some Capital One Cup accent as we did the previous episode. Of course we beat Yeovil in yesterday's video to progress through to the next round of the Domestic Cup and we come up away at Everton in this one. And this was a fantastic game. Also, how good does Goodison Park look, by the way, on Next Gen? Absolutely spectacular. And uh, Everton are such a good side this year. In real life, they're very, very strong under Roberto Martinez and that is reflected in their form on FIFA. But Sammy Leto is able to wriggle free there, the ball pops loose and uh, Tim Howard is able to make a decent save in the 15th minute to make sure that they keep themselves in the game at 0-0. But Eden Hazard's going to cut inside here, lovely whipped ball across, Eto goes up, gets his head on it but actually crumbles under the challenge from the defender and uh, Tim Howard's going to try and clear it but uh, the referee's going to pull it back and we're actually going to have to take Sammy Leto off after just 20 minutes and you'll be able to see from the, uh, the little cutscene here it says lateral collateral ligament damage so that is going to keep Sammy Leto out for a prolonged period of time. Fortunately, we haven't been relying on him too much for our goals. We've actually been getting a lot of goals from uh, from Diego Costa. Sammy Leto actually is yet to score for us in competitive gameplay so far this year. Fernando Torres has chipped in with one or two, but it is Diego Costa that's been scoring most of our goals. And he gets free here, tries to lift it over the top of Tim Howard, but unfortunately the effort goes just too high. And uh, he couldn't get it to dip in time. And uh, we stay at 0-0. But he's going to get another chance here. This time free on the right foot. Drawing a good save out of Tim Howard. Down to his left-hand side. And I was disappointed that uh, Hazard wasn't able to keep that in play and get it back across. But uh, Diego Costa again involved here. Trying to uh, to find a turn to get a shot away. Can't quite do it because of the, uh, the sheer number of bodies behind him. But Oscar's the one to have the shot. And again, it's Tim Howard drawing a good save making a good save to keep it at 0-0 at half time and he was the difference so far we'd have plenty of efforts but uh, Tim Howard putting in a man of the match performance so far in the opening 45 so uh, we had it all to do still in the second half but actually Everton came into the game a little bit more you can see Kevin Morales breaking down this right hand side now it's going to turn inside whip a fantastic ball and it's Ross Bartley to go up good save from Mark Schwarzer there to make sure that he this time keeps a clean sheet and we stay at 0-0 but so uh, we're going to clear the ball from Schwarzer here and it was just a random clearance I just wanted to get it out of the box and it ended up with Diego Costa running onto the end of it in their box inside to Hazard takes one touch unleashes a fantastic shot from 20 yards and that puts us 1-0 up and ahead in the tie really nice uh, finish there not really too much to aim at you've got the first touch out of his feet as you can see the Chelsea fans go nuts in the away section you'll see him get it out of his feet around the defender the defender is wrong footed can't get back across to get a block in and uh, it's the precision shot right into that top right hand corner that gives us the 1-0 lead but I don't know what happened there I passed the ball out to Gary Cahill nobody near him and he just stood there and watched it go through his legs he didn't even move he was completely static so I think it was just a fault with the uh, the gameplay engine unfortunately uh, that was enough for uh, for Nikita Jelovic to be able to put them back into the game, bring them back to level terms at 1-1, and uh, they came very close through Kevin Morales in the final stages of the 90 minutes to uh, to hit the outside of the post. But into extra time we go, of course, in the Capital One Cup, in the League Cup. There are no replays. It's all decided on the night in the first tie. So into extra time we go. Kevin Morales, again, linking up well with uh, Darren Gibson. Has a shot. It's well blocked, actually, from, uh, from the defender and the goalkeeper. But uh, they're going to whip in a corner. It's Kevin Morales to take it, although you would have thought or Leighton Baines would have been on the uh, on the set pieces. It's Nikita Zielovic that goes up, but fortunately for us, it's straight at Mark Schwartz. And that was really the only chance of, uh, of extra time. Neither, neither side was uh, too adventurous. They were a little bit nervous of losing it in extra time. So we went to penalties, and this is how it ended up. We're going to uh, we're going to speed it up just a little bit. Frank Lampard putting it down in the left-hand corner. Really, really nice finish from him. Obviously, Everton have already missed one, but Nikita Zielovic is able to put his or Everton's second penalty into the back of the net. Eden Hazard not able to find the uh, the net. Tim Howard again making another good save. It was all about the goalkeepers in this game, really. Both making great saves, but he didn't need to make a save there. Mark Schwartz says Kevin Morales <laughs> flops to the floor after hitting the post. It says penalty save. The uh, the kind of game DVR recorded that. Not really too sure why. He didn't really save it. Uh, it was more a case of Morales missing it. But uh, Ashley Cole's going to go down low to uh, Tim Howard's left into the bottom right-hand corner of the goal, and that puts us in the driving seat and Johnny Heitinger has to score to keep Everton in it and doesn't so doesn't do so rather and uh, we actually take the win and progress through to the next round of the Capital One Cup I think the next round is the round before the quarter final so we're progressing nicely but as you can see confirmation then that Samuel Eto is going to be out for three months he's going to be a big loss regardless of the fact he hasn't scored yet he is a good player 
and his interlinking football with the midfielders has been pretty good so far. So uh, fortunately, we do have reserves with Fernando Torres, who's starting away at Tottenham. This is a massive game, our second big derby of the season so far. Of course, we beat Man United 3-0 away at Old Trafford. So if we were able to do the same away at White Hart Lane, I would be absolutely thrilled. Of course, Chelsea Tottenham is a massive rivalry, and uh, we had the Tottenham career mode on uh, on current gen, and we were able to beat Chelsea in that. So I kind of wanted revenge being a Chelsea fan against Tottenham. Aaron Lennon came very, very close there. Unfortunately for him, his effort just trickled wide of that far left-hand post. But we were able to get ourselves into the game, have a couple of chances of our own later on in this first half. Eden Hazard's going to step inside, try and find uh, one match on the edge of the box. He's going to, again, try and drill it across goalkeeper into the far bottom corner, but doesn't quite get his angles right, and uh, the goalkeeper makes a decent save. It's quite easy for Hugo Lloris, and we go in at half-time at 0-0. And uh, it was kind of... This game was kind of more like the, uh, the extra time section of the Everton game. There weren't that many chances. Both teams really nervous going forward. Fernando Torres had probably the best chance of the entire game. They're cutting inside the defender. Had a free shot at the far side of the goal. Probably should have put that into the back of the net. I think maybe Diego Costa may have done, but it's hard to tell. You know, you can't really make assumptions like that. But I do like Fernando, and I will continue to keep faith in him, despite the fact he is currently not necessarily firing on all cylinders. But he gets another shot in here. Does well to hold the defender off before firing in the shot. But uh, Hugo Lloris is able to make a tidy save. And uh, Juan Mata went for a huge two-footed lunge on Hugo Lloris. So I didn't really notice that until I was editing the uh, the footage together. And I kind of left that in after uh, the David Luiz scuffed effort. Just to show you that. Because that was a bit out of character, shall we say. But there was another scuffed shot. This time from Oscar. Breaking free inside. I kind of wanted him to use the outside of his right foot. Because of course he is right-footed. And power it across the goalkeeper into that top right-hand corner. But he decided to take his weak foot. And uh, it, was a, it was a poor attempt, in all honesty. And uh, that is how the game is going to end. It was a board draw, nil-nil. And uh, we only take a point from that one. But it's still a clean sheet. We've kept a clean sheet in every single one of the ep games we've played in the past two episodes. So uh, we're going to end this one with a squad report rather than a third game. So if there's any player in particular you want to have a look at their stats, then uh, feel free to pause the video at any particular point while we're scrolling down the list. But uh, whilst this is going on in the background, I just want to say thank you for the amazing support you guys showed. The... Uh, the pack only road to glory series on saturday got plenty of uh, of feedback in the comments loads and loads of comments and there was an overwhelming reply for uh, option number two which is of course transfer some coins across from my main account to the pac-man account and we're going to jump to gold so the first episode of the pac-man gold edition will be coming out tomorrow afternoon i will go and uh, record a pack opening maybe we'll have a game in it maybe not we might just do a pack opening and then i'll cut to uh, some of the squads i might be able to build with the players that we get in that uh, particular pack opening but uh, that will be coming out tomorrow so please do feel free to show that video some huge support like you did at the one on saturday and of course feel free to drop this video a like as well you guys have been going absolutely spectacular with uh, views and likes on this series so far and if we can get close to 100 likes again that'd be absolutely amazing so that is going to bring this one to a close guys thank you very much for watching like i say feel free to leave the video a like and if you aren't subscribed make sure that you do so there will be a link in the description and an annotation on screen over the subscribe button to make sure that you don't miss out on any next gen content here on Tesnoid Gaming and of course if you missed the previous episode in this Chelsea career mode there is a link on screen over that little snippet of gameplay you can see there which will have been yesterday's video where of course we started our Champions League campaign against Zenit St. Petersburg so well that is going to bring this one to a close so thank you very much for watching guys and I will see you next time